Hey guys, uh, Ginger Kitten here with another episode of Minecraft Xbox. Uh, so in today's episode, I think I'm going to start building a cow shed or cow barn for for the animals because, as you can see, there's quite a few around, and I think it's about time for us to be start breeding them and keeping them captive and stuff. So I've kind of prepared an area just here put them all in. So I'm probably going to build like pig, almost like pig side type things. So I've kind of, I know what I'm going to do, but this is the case of working out how I'm going to do it. So what I think I'm going to do is, if I do it there, I do that for now. Fences. These fences take up a lot of wood. So, so yeah. There and then, if we get some more wind tanks out, and then go back to like kind of a shelter bit for the animals, and if we go up. three higher. And then I'm going to split it in half there. And put more fence down in the middle. Because I'm going to have two different animals. It's probably going to be uh, cows and pigs in this one, and I'll probably do a different, slightly different one for sheep. Slightly different design. Just because. A lot of things try to eat the sheep. There's more stairs. And then I'm going to do. I think if I do that and then that, that looks quite nice. <laughs> We've already got our first victim. Good. Turn that one off. I'm glad to do that with more shells up there. Oh no, so I get up. That was good, didn't even have to get that cow, it just wandered in. Oh my god, I keep doing that. Anyway. Right, two, four. For now, I'm going to put some water probably there, maybe a couple of hay bales in there eventually. That's alright for now. So let's try and get some more animals. So, get this pig here. Oh, uh, they uh, have carrots. <laughs> I think I've got some carrots in, so I'll probably get some more from that. This cow to his little friend. Some carrots and we can get some pigs. I also need a chicken coop as well. Mm -hmm. 
dans son coin. Baby cat. It's got loads of wolves as well around here somewhere. There's one there, there's four of them. So they're obviously quite happy around here. Yeah, so as you can see, I've finished my house. Well, as finished as it is, it's going to be for now. I've just put a couple of chests in, just gradually filling them up. And the upstairs is just empty, just for being just a window for now, a double bed. But you get quite a nice view of them the place and little and ginger kids ginger towns coming up over there. So I'm probably gonna put a marketplace down there at some point. Some little market stores or something. Just to make it look a bit nicer. So we've got carrots. Carrots for the pigs. Right. Get this pig here first. And then grab that one on the way. And that way it's a bit easier. Right, come on the pigs. Right time. Cool, you can come into that. Cool, no. and there's my baby pig. So that's cow pen and a sheep and a pig pen then. Um, sheep I'm not too worried about at the moment. Uh, I probably will be make I will make one at some point, but just not right now. Just harvest a little bit really quickly. You can see the wheat farm's doing pretty well. And I think I'm gonna put another one off camera. Put it next to it just so we can provide more wheat. Because now that I've got animals, I'm going to start breeding them and killing them and stuff. Get food as well. Because currently I've pretty much just lived on bread. Just a white look. Another first house, completely empty now. And all the trees have grown. So that's done. And uh, let's put the carrots away. Put the wheat away, put the seeds away. Another uh, an egg. So I've done a little bit of mining as well. And I've got a bit of iron and stuff. A bit of coal, a bit of obsidian. So we're going to be making a trip to the nether. Pretty soon, I would imagine. And I've cleared off some more trees over there. So, really, I, well, I'm not I'm even going to put chicken in as well. So, I think I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it here. Because there's already a chicken over there. Very big one, just needs to be smaller. Getting nice now. So I'm probably going to get killed. Right, that's chicken down there. So let's go get, make a piece of fence a gate for it. Let's 
paint. And then get some seeds. And go get some chickens. Okay. Spells. Got the spells. And the chicken there. Put it in before we die. Sloop. Fourth creek blowing up. So yeah, off camera there was a bit of a problem with uh creek and stuff getting in my house because it's pressure playing out. But uh, I was downstairs quite happily making making some food and uh creeper decided to come inside my house and blew the doors off. Like that one there. Uh, and there's a spider in my window. There's a creeper right there. So I'm going to go this way. So there was another chicken over here somewhere. There it is. Put you in with the other one. The good thing about all the animals is now you can uh, break them every five minutes. Whereas like when I when I first originally got the game, it was like once every like 10, 15 minutes, which is a bit annoying. Baby, baby. Start getting some eggs. So we can make some cakes and stuff. It's gonna be good. Let's see if I can breach you again. Yep, go up to 4,000. It's good, getting that done ready. So, I think, um, I might, well, I don't know, I don't really know where to build the sheep pen because I wasn't really intending to build it here. So I might wait and build it kind of here. Once I've got some more dirt and level it out. So then I can kind of build it. So I'm gonna build another wheat farm in there probably. And then build the sheep pen behind it. And then it's kind of out of the way but still there. And it's like kind of not, it's not blocking up all this bit here, which I can use to build like buildings and stuff on. Should be quite handy. Sorry, piggy. So, hmm, I'm wondering if it's worth. Taking my trip over to the village and see if I can trade any I'm going to go kill some get some more for meat. Because I've got my pigs now, so and my cows. So all the other ones are kind of not really needed as such. Beef, <laughs> wool, just random in the middle of the grass. There's also been some murdering of sheep going on around here. Oh, we 
guys might as well. <laughs> So yeah, the world was coming on quite well. Got my main thing is my house was built, so it's a bit more secure than just a wooden box. Apart from that, but not really have much of a problem. I've let out most of the front, most of the back, so you don't really get too much spawning too close. It does spawn, but just not not quite as close as. Like my front door, which pretty much always gets me killed. So I think I'm going to end it there. Um, next episode, I think I'm well. Next episode, I'm going to sh do uh, one of the mod spawners that I found over there. I'm going to show you how to make it into a spawner trap or a mod grinder, whatever you want to call it. And then I think that we next step for me because I want to get some good XP levels even though I've already got that but once I start getting the enchantment table it will help me keep getting like level 30 pickaxes or swords bows and things like that which will be quite handy so thanks very much for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, don't forget to like, rate and subscribe or follow us on Twitter